You're good, yeah. Yo. Mm. You good, yeah? You feeling alright? Fucking good, mate, yeah. Oh, fucking rate that, rate that, rate that. I've been trying to get it out for the last few minutes, but I feel like I fucking love you, bro. Oh, Big time. Nah, fucking nah, love nah. you, man. No, to no, To the no. point where it's... Let me just say something quick. Where it's, let me just say something quick. No, no, no. You can say whatever no, you want. I was man. getting that saying, man. Fun of mine. You let say me, what you're gonna say. Let me finish, man. Let's you finish, and fun. then I'm gonna say something, all right? To the point where. Basically, mate, I think it's so rare that you find two such kindred spirits. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I just love spending time with you, man. I fucking Trust love me. it. Trust me. It's just very lucky that we've managed to proper. Yeah, like, man. Like, I just measure. feel like you changed my life. Mm. You fucking changed my life. Oh. Oh, Remember, we are like. I've always said it, man. You are fucking blessed. Me? You are fucking blessed, man. <laughs> I'm not even embarrassed to you say it or nothing. Why would you be embarrassed? I'm not embarrassed. Who the fuck even cares? Yeah, exactly. And you got friends like these. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got friends like these who the fuck even cares, exactly. man. Exactly, exactly. Where the fuck would I be without you, huh? What's up? Where the fuck would you be without me? Hmm? Where the fuck even are we? Should we dip? Mind the gap, mind the gap, mind the gap. Ugh. Fucking hell, I'm chewing my fucking teeth off. Jesus Christ, I've overdone it. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked actually. I ain't felt like I'm this just is chilling, man. Why are they standing so close to the tracks? Maybe they're still fucked from a big night out. I haven't been on a night out in ages. <sighs> Fuck my life. Ugh, I don't want to have to give up my seat to a pregnant lady. I'll pretend to be asleep just in case. Should I get off here or can I make it? Jesus, I can't believe this is actually happening. Surely this can't actually be happening. I really never thought I'd find myself in this situation. But here I am, moments away from shitting myself in the tube. Come on, come on, where are you? Oh, bollocks. Shit, 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 fuck. Sorry. Switch on, man. I should have just ran you over. She just lit you down, blood. It's a lucky day. It's a lucky day. Who's he beeping at? Can't be beeping at, man. Hey, who you beeping at, blood? Do you know who I am? Blood, do you know who I am, blood? Do you not let me get out of this whip? I'm not your regular Uber driver, you know. I'll knock you down. Oh, uh, sorry, mate. Don't fucking smile at me. I'm not your mate. Fucking do your job. My bad. No, you mad. Hey, don't test me. I beg you, don't test me, bub. Oh, I should have got the tube. How dare man beep at me? Are you sick, bub? In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the... Oh, fuck off. These fucking single glazed windows. Oh, it doesn't help having this creep in my ear either. Why am I trying to get rid of my anxiety using the thing that causes my anxiety? Move to London, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Uh, at least I've got something to do today. Like, that's the thing about this city. It's just work, 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 you know? And the shit thing is, it kind of has to be. What do you mean? Well, like, when you move into a new place, you usually sign a 12-month contract, don't you? Yeah, mine is 12. Yeah, so then everything suddenly becomes about paying this extortionate rent for 12 months, and I fucking mean it when I say extortionate. Because the fact that you can pay less to rent a whole gaff with a garden up north than you do a shitty fucking mice-infested <laughs> single-glazed flat down here is beyond fucked. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Right. Mm -hmm. So you get a shit job to pay your rent, obviously with the intention of leaving, and you actually find something you want to do but then you can't find something you want to do when you're fucking working all the time. But if you leave your job to go and follow your passion or whatever, you can't fucking pay your rent. So then you're stuck in this endless fucking cycle of working to live and living to work, and for what? Just so that you can say you live in fucking London. It's no wonder everyone's so fucking miserable. Yeah, I found that actually. 
What? About, about people being miserable? Generally, people aren't really nice here. I know. Actual Londoners are pretty sound. It's more the people that have moved here to work are the problem, like us. <laughs> yeah. Is no one in this park smoking? Do they not want cancer? Here, do you mind if we just have like a little wander around just until we find someone with a lighter, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Oh, Jesus. I've been trying to find a job doing something I actually want to do mm. in marketing, but I've just had so many rejections that I think I'm just going to have to settle for whatever I can find. I mean, the applications are actually so draining, especially if you go through like four stages and then you don't get the job. Mm. And it's hard because it feels like I'm supposed to be having this like, great time, but I'm not. So thank you for getting real about your experience. Because here's me thinking that everybody's just loving life and it's just me. Oh, it's not just you though, don't no, worry. No, I know, but it's like you go on social media for 20 minutes and then suddenly after that you feel like shit. Mm. Because everybody's, you know, having fun, doing really cool stuff. But like the thing is, they're probably not actually having fun. Social media, it just, it creates this false sense of reality that really warps everything, do you know yeah. what I mean? And like the fuck thing is, they know exactly what they're doing as well. What do you mean? Well, like these big tech companies, they create the apps with the intention of keeping you on there for as long as possible, right? Obviously they know that that's going to impact on people's mental health. I don't know. What, you don't think spending too much time on social media is going to fuck no, no, up? No, no, I'm sure it does. I know it does. I just don't think it's on purpose. Because if you think about it, if the business model is more usage equals more money, then of course it's going to work in that way. And without the initial thought of let's fuck up people's mental health. But is it really worth all that money if what you're doing is fucking up oh, society? Oh, no, definitely not. But we live in the world we live in. Look, that's capitalism. And I'm not even against capitalism. Like, it's probably our best bet. But whatever the hell we've got going on with this current system, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere good. So. It doesn't feel like it does. No. It kind of feels like we've created so much potential for yeah. like complete and utter global demise. <laughs> Do you know what I no, mean? No, I know what you mean. It's like before I swear there was only one big threat. Right? <laughs> yeah. And now it's like, you know, nukes, the environment, <laughs> viruses, some sort of evil AI getting yeah. created. Whatever it is, it just seems like there's so many things that can wipe us out in an instant. Yeah, I know. You know? It's like great, now we have a choice. Yeah, and you can choose more than one if you want. <laughs> See, this is why I'm not having kids. Fuck bringing them into this shit. <laughs> oh, hang on a sec. Excuse me. Sorry, do you have a lighter? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Hold on to that. Superstar. Yeah, no, fuck having kids. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about something a little bit lighter. Yeah, please. What? Mm. Oh, vegan food. Yeah, have you found any of those? Yeah, it's not a bad bike in here, you know. Yeah, I can tell, bro. Where'd yeah. you buy that from? <laughs> right away, my brother. Yeah, I see that. This is yeah. spot. Okay, no, it looks good, man. Yeah, it's been good for us, man. That's all right. Yeah, well, yeah, here's the stuff. It's the gear, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a little check. Everything should be in there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks good. good. Yeah? Sweet, bro. Well, I'll give that to you, brother. Nice one. How long do you think it'll be? Hour, hour and a half. That's all right. All good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gonna chill or you? Nah, nah, you know what? I'll leave the master to do his job. Right, I'm cool. gonna go grab a little right. coffee. You want anything? Nah, I'm good, bro. Yeah? All oh, sweet. Right, give me a call. Nice one. See ya. See you in a bit. Can I get a black coffee, please? That'll be £3.90. How much? Yeah, £3.90. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we also only take card. You only take card? Yeah, sorry about that. How come you don't take cash? It's just our policy, mate. I'm sorry. Sorry, bud. Easy. Just try empty, mate. How you doing, buddy? You all right? All good. How was your coffee? Yeah, fucking expensive, bro. Bro, it's crazy, man. Yeah, it's nuts. Good to see you, bro. And you, man. Has it everything all good? Yeah, man. Straightforward. Yeah, sure. Sweet. Yeah, so yeah. you don't want peace for this? Nah, nah, nah. It's cool. Cool, man. You sure? Nah, nah, oh, bro. What all cash good. Do you need? Bro, nah, not from you. All Imagine good. a fucking coffee shop didn't take any bro, more money, it's man. It's mad idea. Right How bougie ends are these, bro? They're not taking cash for this. I don't know, man. I can't believe they're still doing that, bro. Fucked up. Mad. Anyway, you want to come see it? Yeah, that's right. Thank you. How did it come off? Man, lovely. Yeah? Yeah, it looks lovely, bro. Oh my days, my flipping guy, bro. Yo. Hello.
<laughs> Say thank you to your uncle. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> and make sure you lock that up as well, yeah? I don't want that to get stolen. Surprised her with it when she got back from school, fam. That's sweet, fam. Yeah, man, you should have seen her face, bruv, this morning. Cake was out, presents, mm. fucking party poppers. I didn't have anything to give her. I felt so bad. You know how to make up to her. Plus, my sister, she can't really afford to get her stuff like that, you know? So it's a nice way to say thank you for letting me stay here. I died. <laughs> no surprises there, uh, my brother. Shut up, blood. So watch and learn, fam. You want to roll uh, with the big boys, man. bro. Give me some of this cake, man. Mm. So how old is she, your niece? Uh, 11 today. Mm -hmm. That age where you just carefree, son? Zero problem. Yeah, biggest problem mm -hmm. back then was trying to get home before my bro to play RuneScape. You used to buy RuneScape? Of course, what? G. Mad fun. <laughs> what? That was sick. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, so medieval games are always the best, bro. Yeah, but RuneScape is the best one now, still. Uh, what, what was that white city with the, with the white knights and that? Falador. Falador, yeah. yes, fam. Fal um, Falador was a madness, bruv. Can you remember the Falador massacre, blood? Oh, yeah, that actually happened. Yeah, yeah, it? fam. It was like a glitch. Some guy, some mm. glitch don just started deading people in Fali. It happened on 666 as well, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. It did. The Devil's yeah. Day, bruv. On the 9 11 a RuneScape. The Devil's Day should have got Zezima to fuck Zezima. up. Zezima. You fam. remember him? Yeah, of course, man. He's at the highest level player. No, no, there are a few people at that level. And but I thought he was like the first. No, one no, to get what there. they did, they released a new skill, and then mm. it was on for the ones that were highest to level it up. And I think. Oh. Zezama did it first. Yeah. Oh, it was, um, what was a new skill they introduced? It was something like, um, uh, ploughing or some shit. Nah, fam, that's too basic, fam. I'm wearing that. <laughs> nah, but, uh, imagine, imagine, you're a bad boy like Zezama, yeah. yeah. You built yourself up to be this bad boy from warrior. The fucking, then what? Um, the you fucking, um, the fucking, the the admin team, the Illuminati, like, get back <laughs> in your place, fam. Illuminati and RuneScape. Fam, Zezama was a danger to them, you know. I hear that, I hear that, Yo. I hear that, I hear that. Oh, RuneScape was like the best years of my life, fam. Yo. What? <laughs> yeah, next week, you mean, yeah? Oh, yeah, no, 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 my bad, my bad. No, I'm getting mixed up, innit? <laughs> no, of course, of course I booked it, of course I did. Yes, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll pick you up at 8.30 as planned, yeah? Okay, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, bye-bye, yeah, bye-bye. Yo, fam, no. <laughs> I, like, I got to cut, you know, fam. I forgot I'm taking the missus out for a fancy <laughs> meal later tonight. But like, I got to make some peas real quick, like, I'm guy, wounded, you know? All right, yeah, I'll let you out, I'll let you out. All right, bro. Yeah. Right, listen, quick, before you go, yeah. I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 back oh, in the bro, day. Don't get me started on Modern <laughs> Warfare 2, fam. Hello, Amayas. Hi, yeah, um, is there any chance I could book a table uh, tonight for two people at 9 p.m.? Unfortunately not, sir. Usually you have to book at least a week in advance. Oh, wait. No, no, we do, actually. A table's just opened up. Fucking... Uh, yeah. Yeah, can I book that one then, please, yeah? Something tonight. Yo, what you saying? You need anything tonight? Yo, I know you want something tonight, fam. What you got? It's all about me. Gotta do what I can. Step over any other man. It's all about me. How I rise to the top, ruthless moves don't stop One day might be the one from the start Push button stop, don't start, or you just might see How far I can go, just so everybody knows Say you wanna be the man now Move like a big dog in a circle Everybody hands down, they must understand now Yeah, what are you saying, fam? You In a minute, Trust bro. Trust me, man. Long term, fam. Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. Um, he, my man? He's not back yet, innit? He thought you were going to be late. Why do you think that for? Bro, you're late for everything. Uh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> allow me, this man. Is some allow special me, occasion fam. today or something, bro. special occasion, bro. I, I'm a changed man, fam. Okay. Yep. Yeah? <laughs> he just texted me now, innit? He told me to bop out and grab it. Yeah, man. Come on. You got the pee? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Right, bro. Right, bless you. Yeah, yeah.
I didn't even know you were still shooting, bro. Nah, I'm not really, fam. It's just an occasional thing when I'm low on pee, innit? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what are you lot saying? You're going out tonight or something? Or? No, no, no. Just having some people around for a little shows. Okay, okay. Nice, fam. Nice. Yeah, come through later if you're about. A few heads are rolling. Yeah, blood. I can't, you know. Um, I'm taking my girl out to Amaya's tonight, innit? Oh, what? That fancy place? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah nah, this is why I can't be having a girlfriend, man. Too expensive, like. <laughs> yeah, trust me, man. Shame we didn't get to see you when you left. But oh, we yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, I'm not. fucking crazy concept that like the whole human population is just like a data processing system so like each human is kind of like a computer chip just producing data for the system like it's kind of mad I'm like nah nah i'm good bro sure all right fuck it go on then nice. oh, fucking, that's a big one son <laughs> sorry what was i saying oh the data data thingy? Oh, yeah, yeah, You were yeah. saying how, like, all you think humans really do now is produce data or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, through our interactions with each other in the wider world, that's all we're really doing. We're just producing fuckloads of data. But, like, what I always find myself asking is, what's all this data actually for? Doesn't it just get used by corporations to sell us more stuff? Sure, but, like, in a bigger sense, because technically those corporations are producing fuckloads of data as well. Have you heard of Roco Basilisk by any chance? No, what's that? Okay, so fucking Roko's Basilisk is this fucking crazy idea. Like, it's this thought experiment that basically says that in the future there's just going to be this fucking mad, super, all-knowing artificial intelligence that's going to get created. A godlike AI creature that knows everything and controls everything. And my theory is that, like, it's going to be all this data that we're producing now on our phones or whatever that's going to create it. Like, once we've produced a certain amount of data, it will just be absorbed by this AI, and then this AI will become all powerful because it will have literally absorbed every bit of information ever produced. Yeah, I can see that happening. But wait, fucking, the craziest part about this thought experiment is that it says that when this thing does get created, it will retroactively punish anyone who didn't help bring it into existence. Oh, fuck. Yeah, like supposedly, even if you just know about this thought experiment, like if you know about it and you're not actively trying to bring it into existence, it will torture you. Why aren't we being tortured then? Maybe we are. I find life kind of hard, to be honest. Do you know what I mean? True. Like, it's mad, because, like, if this thing was real, right, it kind of means that the people who pioneered the agricultural revolution even helped to create it. Because, like, eventually agriculture leads to the fucking medieval times, then the medieval times leads to the industrial revolution, then the industrial revolution leads to this fucking crazy technological world that we live in today where this AI could actually get made. So, in theory, anyone who's, like, resisted innovation throughout history will be punished. Hold on. Or I guess has been punished. So you're saying that this AI would punish people that don't help bring it into existence mm. and that technological innovation and all of our data producing is what will basically create it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, if you think about it, the best thing for producing the most amount of data is for information to be free. Mm. But obviously, in recent years, we've seen big tech companies play a massive role in censoring information, yet they're the ones doing all the technological innovation. So aren't they helping to create it, but also stalling its creation Fuck. at the same time? Fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Like, that's a good point. Mm. I guess the basilisk could just have to make a judgment call on them. Or I guess already has. You keep saying that. What? Like, speaking about it in the past tense. Yeah, because this has already gone down, mate. Like, time wouldn't be linear for this video. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But, like, that's a headbuck in itself, though, right? Because, like, if time's not linear, it kind of means everything's just always happening. Like, World War II is sort of happening right now and it always will be. At the same time that this conversation is happening and every other moment that's ever happened, it's all just always happening, do you know what I mean? I think so. Wouldn't that mean that everything's deterministic? Like, you can only do what you're always gonna do because it's already happened. So yeah. technically, we have no free will. Exactly, exactly. That's so depressing if it's true. No, 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 I don't reckon it's depressing because, like, if it came out, like, legitimately came out, proven beyond doubt that the universe was deterministic, mm. I don't really think it would change anything because it's not like we'd be able to perceive the determinism. Sure, we wouldn't have free will, but like we still have the illusion of free will. Do you mean as in like we know that we have no control over what happens to us, but it would still feel like we had control? Yeah, so new experiences would still feel new and unpredictable. Mm, yeah. Yo, I think we're going out. Out, out. Yo. Is everyone dead?
What would all us English cunts do about kebab vans, eh? Shame about all the dead animals, though. Oh my god, I could murder it on meat and chips right now. No, shut up. You're just gone vegan. Come on. Oh god. She looks like she might actually be dead. Guess I should call an ambulance or something, right? Uh, that's a lot of effort, though. Might just pretend I didn't see her. Oh, I'm a terrible person. Oh, no, I'm not. She's fine. I'm off the hook. I am so not fine right now. Someone help me, please. Why has no one stopped to help me? Just kill me. I'm not even joking. Someone just put me on my misery and fucking kill me. Death can't be worse than feeling this horrible. Oh. Oh, please, no. No, 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 no. Verfickte Singe, es ist Pack. Learn how to handle your drinks, for Christ's sake. Ach, Scheiße. The fuckers have even got me thinking in English now. Ich bin hier schon viel zu lange. Ich muss zurück nach Berlin. Ich werde definitiv London nicht vermissen. Der Gestank nach Pisse und Scheiße. Die echte Pisse und Scheiße. Leute kümmern sich nicht. Sie pissen und scheißen direkt vor deine Füße. Oh, really isn't supposed to sting like this. Oh, I pissed down my leg. I love my friends. They just make everything so much easier. Don't tell my friends enough how much I love them. Ah, I feel like I could run a mile. <laughs>